Just breathe your name upon me, breathe Just breathe your name upon me, breathe Come on, share, come on, share, come on, share, come on, share. On Facebook, share, please. Upon me, breathe. Just breathe the name of Holy Breathe. Just like in the beginning, where I was before you found me, in the place of death and death. Your name for hell is your name. Breathe. That's all you need. That's all you need. The breath of the Almighty. Just breathe the name. Upon me, One more time. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, wherever you're watching me from. I want to welcome you to um, another series of The Encounter. God bless you wherever you are. God bless you wherever you are on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, watching us. God bless you. God bless you. This is Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach. And I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to this platform. And uh, I bring good tidings. I want to welcome you into the season of comfort, into the season of peace, into the season of success, into the season of divine establishment. I want to welcome you. In, uh, to this moment that we're going to be uh, sharing the word of God, wherever you're watching, for either you, in, you are in the afternoon or you are in the evening, in uh, in any continent, I welcome you and I bring good tidings. Uh, my name remains Emmanuel Damiro, and I'm your host for tonight, and I will also be teaching tonight on the uh, the team. Don't give up. Um, shall we pray heavenly father king of glory we thank you we'll bless your name for another opportunity that you have given unto us to learn at your feet to discourse 
your mind concerning uh, our race, your journey in life. As many of us may be weary, at some point we might be thinking, what else have we got to do that we have not done? And God has not been answering. Or God is yet to answer our prayers. Uh, we want to thank you, Lord, for that insight. We want to thank you, Lord, for the for the spirit of directing us. We want to thank you, Lord, for this platform, for all the men of God and women of God that you have brought on this platform. We want to thank you for their lives. We want to thank you, Lord, for the wisdom you have given unto them. We want to thank you, Lord, for those that have that you have touched to listen, those that you have directed, those that you have directed to at one point in time, at one point or another, that to tune into this program and they are saved and they are healed and they are comfort. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you, Lord, for, no, for those wonderful things you have done. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We thank you for your handwork, for we can see that you are God all by yourself. Blessed be your holy name. As we proceed tonight, O oh Lord, go with us. Be with us. Uh, we commit the speaker for tonight into your care. Myself, O oh Lord, we pray, Lord, I, I will not speak of myself, but I will speak your mind. And I will speak, you will direct me in the name of Jesus. And at the last day, I will not be found wanted. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Once again, I want to welcome you to this uh, uh, program, the Encounter Series, the Series 50, 74, 75. The Series 75, this is how far the Lord has, uh, has led us, has kept us, and uh, we got all his backing all the time. We got his divine backing and he's directing, every, he's directing us uh, in a very, very good direction that we can see the hand of God. Blessed be his holy name. I want to thank you for tuning in, wherever you're tuning in from once again. I want to say thank you because the Lord has destined you to be a partaker of his glory tonight, of, his, uh, of this meeting, because God in his mercy has set you aside to be blessed tonight. And I'm so excited about that. Um, I w welcome, welcome to this meeting. Hallelujah. Tonight, um, we will be looking into uh, the team. Don't give up. Don't give up. The team came about the when I was uh, meditating, and the Lord uh, ministered this team to me because I, I, I encounter. Uh, so many uh, feedback from people, not feedback, like when somebody approach you about uh, asking you about what, what else could they do? What else could they do? I have seen series of that in the last three months. And my, my mind was troubled. My mind was troubled that as, as it got to a stage that we begin to think there is no God or we begin to think that God can still not do it or we begin to think the time has gone or we begin to think that your case is uh, there is no solution. To that reproach. So I want to encourage somebody tonight that don't give up. Don't give up. We'll be taking our text from the uh, book of Jeremiah. From the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 29, verse 11. The book of Jeremiah, chapter. Uh, 29 verse 11 so 
I want you to, I want you to, wherever you are watching me for, I want you to be attentive to this. I want you to be attentive to this because um, it's very, very important that we understand that God does things at his own time. And if nothing is happening, we should not give up because God is still working it out. God is still working it out. So Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. A lot of times we recite this verse, a lot of times we say this verse, a lot of time we'll, we'll uh, recite it, but we don't really know how powerful this word is. If we know, we will not even think about is it or is it not? Is it possible or is it not possible? Because God himself is a God of assurance. He has assured us that he knows his thoughts towards us. He says, I know the thoughts that I have or I think towards you. Which is the thought of peace. He has come to you in peace. He has come to you in peace to give you peace. And this thought is not of evil. To give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me. Then shall you call upon me. God is, is God, our God is so good that he wants us to have a peace of mind. And when we talk about peace of mind, we're talking about you having a relief of your heart. You having no worries. You having no trouble. You having no... Uh, 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 um, you having no uh, anxiety. You not looking at things around you. And begin to think, oh, the world is going to end. When will God answer my prayer? A sister came to me some months ago and said, I understand what she, what, was going through, what she was going through. I do understand. However, I believe that the word of God is yea and amen. And I told the sister, I said, sister, the Lord will not say this and take his word back. I said, trust the Lord and everything will fall in place. He said, oh, evangelists have started again. Why, how, can that, how can this God, how, why can't this God do it all this while? I've been waiting now one and a half years. I said, sister, the Lord is good. And jokingly, she said all the time. That's what we hear every day. And at some point, I spoke to this uh, sister's husband. And I said, it looks like your, your wife is uh, beginning to doubt the Lord. And I said one thing. I said, this is what the Bible says concerning every situation. There are some things we desire on ourselves. We desire on our own that that is not the plan of God for us. It doesn't mean that because we desire it and the Lord is not answering that prayer because he knows why he is not answering that prayer. And we begin to doubt God. And there are some things that at his own time at the appointed time, he will answer those prayers. He's working on it. So why do you want to give up? Why do you want to give it all? And say, you know what? I've seen people just take some decisions. And I worry 
That's wow. Can't you read this? Can't you do you know what the Bible says about this? He says, I know the thought that I have towards you. So if you it's not just reciting this Bible verse, it's about using it, it's about understanding the power in that word. That he knows the thought. I mean, he, 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 he knows the thought that he has towards you. Said the Lord, thou, thou thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That means the Lord has planned for you from the day you were born. He has a good plan for you. He has a wonderful plan for you. Sister, brother, watching me, I want to assure you tonight that the Lord has a plan for you. A wonderful plan. Not just a plan. A wonderful plan. A miraculous plan. An amazing plan. To take you to an expected end. He desires you. He is interested in you. He loves you. That's why I, 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 I can't comprehend it when people start running or, or, or running the race on their own. I don't understand it. You have a savior, you have a redeemer. If you can acknowledge this and don't give up. Just continue praying. Don't give up. Be hopeful. Don't give up. Don't conclude your life. Don't say nothing is happening. Because of that, the Lord has deserted you. The Lord has, con has given up on you. No. He will never give up on you. Because he has a plan for you. Every man, every woman born today, God has a plan for them. And that is the plan I'm telling you now. For I know the thoughts I have towards you, said the Lord. I didn't write this. Hallelujah. So I want to assure you tonight that the Lord Almighty has a plan, a good plan, a very beautiful plan for you. I remember the story of a brother who was very poor. This brother was very, very poor and could not even afford a, a, a meal, a square meal. And this brother was frustrated to the, to the extent that he was, he was almost committing suicide. He was at the edge of uh, uh, committing suicide. But this brother failed to forget. He, he forgot in that uh, uh, God has other plans for him. He was planning something drastic to end his own life. And many people out there have done that. Because they don't know the plan of God. They don't, they don't know the weight of the word of God. When he says he knows the thought he has towards you. Just like the way the Lord showed up for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. You know, despite the fact that they have lost, the, the, the hope was lost. The Lord showed up at the last minute. They were praising, they were shouting, hallelujah, and the Lord showed up. How much prayer have you prayed? Even when you feel, oh, the, uh, you, 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 you want the Lord to interfere in into your matters and you waited for too long. How much prayer? Have you continued to pray? How much praises have you continued to praise? How much hallelujah have you shouted in a day? All you do is to blame God. Oh, if God do really exist. Somebody said to me, one of my colleagues at work. He said, if God do really exist, <laughs> how come? 
<laughs> How come he has not won a lottery? <laughs> and I said to this man, I mean, we have different culture anyway, and uh, we have different understanding. But I said one thing to him. I said, <laughs> listen, God is not a gambler, and God is not a magician. But I know he has a plan for you. The same word I'm saying tonight is what I said to this young gentleman. I said God has a plan for you and definitely he will reveal himself to you. He will bless you. Even for you breathing. To this, when that day, very day, he spoke to me. I said it's a miracle. That means God loves you. <laughs> you know, so you get different things every day. People thinking the Lord has forsaken them. People thinking, and it's not just, you need to take it from the mind, the, the minor things. If I sleep and I'm dead and somebody wake me up in the morning, that means there's God. We need to start from that. We need to understand that. So, because some people just sleep and never wake up. They slept and they never woke up. We need to start from there. Who has woken you up? It's a miracle. So every, every second of our life is a miracle. So why do you want to, why do you, why do you, why, do, why are you blaming God? Why do you want to give up? If you can receive such miracle, that means you will receive more. So why do you want to give up? Just because you are expecting one, not one thing. Or you think you're praying to God for one thing. And from there, you start giving up. You start thinking about suicide. You start thinking about some nasty things. Beloved, the Lord loves you. God loves you and he has a plan for you. Do not give up. Say to your neighbor, do not give up. No matter what you are expecting, no matter what you are, no matter what you are praying for, do not give up. God Almighty will show up for you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to someone or to someone tonight that as you are expectant, do not give up. The Lord will show up for you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you are seeking God for, is it for healing? Is it for your finances? Is it for your family? Is it for your business? Is it for your salvation? Is it for anything? God Almighty will show up at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. God knows the way out to your to you to, to your problem i assure you god knows the way out how do i know this how do i know that god knows the way out to your problem let's look at the book of isaiah isaiah 43 uh verse 2 isaiah 43 verse 2 i'm going to read this uh shortly uh, in, uh i will just quickly read this Isaiah 43, verse 2. He says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be born. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord, thy God. I am the Lord, your God. He is the Lord, our God. You see, he, this is another prophecy. This is another pro, uh, 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 declaration that God is with you. This is another assurance that the Lord is with you. This is another assurance that the Lord has, will never forsake you. 
Because the Lord loves you. He loves you. His thoughts are not of evil. He has brought peace into you. So why do you want to give up? If you can't see, delay is not denial. If you don't see the result now, God is not a magician. He's working it out. He's working it out. Like this brother, he almost committed suicide. Until the Lord showed up. Even at a point, the Lord showed his wife that things are going to get better. But like a doubting Thomas, so if it's going to get better, why can't it get better in the last five years? And the wife said, I had a dream. The Lord said it's going to get better. Until the Lord showed up. Beloved, if there's anything that you're asking God for, if there's anything that you are believing God for, if there's anything that you are trusting the Lord for, and you have waited, you have waited, I assure you tonight that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. Just be patient. Just be patient. In just a little time. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just a little time, the Lord will show himself all. Just the way he did to Chindrat, Meshach, and Abednego. He showed his own power. He said, I am God all by myself. I am God and I have brought peace. I have come to meet your needs. So don't give up. Don't give up. The Lord is so powerful. He's a wonderful God. And I pray tonight, I pray tonight that every of your heart desire, according to the will of God, they shall manifest in the name of Jesus. The Lord will stretch his power into your needs in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. Don't give up. I speak peace in every storm of your life tonight. That the Lord, according to that Bible verse, Isaiah 43, that the Lord Almighty will bring peace to all the storm in your life in the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord will touch you, will touch your family in the name of Jesus. Please don't give up. Don't give up. Because the, the Lord is the same yesterday and tomorrow. Is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As he has done it for the people of the past, he will do it for you. So don't give up. Don't give up. And one thing I that gave me the assurance that the Lord is still the same. He has done it. We heard about stories of what the Lord has done. He has never failed. We have read it in the scriptures. So that, thing, that is an assurance that the Lord Almighty is still the same yesterday, today, and it will be the same forever. I remember in the, in the, in the, in the, in the book of Acts, when Peter visited the church, and he got to this, uh, uh, he goes to this uh, community, um, and he he, 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 he met a man that was paralyzed. When I was reading that scripture, that tells me that the Lord is still working. He's still doing his miracle. He's still doing wonders. He's still performing great and mighty things. So why do you want to give up? All you need to do is wait for your time. Because he's cooking something. He's cooking it. He's preparing it. At the appointed time, at the appointed time, the Lord will showcase you in the name of Jesus. At the appointed time, the Lord will, 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 will announce you. At the appointed time, the Lord will, the people will celebrate you. 
at the appointed time, you will see the hand work of God in your life. Don't give up. When Peter told that man, the paralyzed man said, he said, rise and walk. And he jumped up. Everything that has paralyzed, that has paralyzed in your life will rise again in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to somebody watching me right now that everything that, has para that is paralyzed in your life, either in your finances or in your family or is there any reproach that people are mocking you or is there any something that you are praying to God for that you want a change that you are really praying to God for and you want a miracle I prophesy tonight that everything that is paralyzed in your life will rise in the name of Jesus don't give up don't give up because the time is so near so, so near. The time is so close. Don't give up. Don't doubt the Lord because he's working it out. He's working it out. Oh, sister, uh, I mean, you are, you are believing God for this and it's taking too long. One year, two years. Trust me, the Lord is working it out. The Lord is working it out. Just be patient and see what the Lord will do. Just be patient very close to it because the Lord has said he has his thought is to bring peace unto you his thoughts are not, is, uh, are not of evil so just be patient and don't give up hallelujah amen so I want to assure you tonight I mean if you look at the, those examples I have given the three Hebrew men they should drag me down and then go. They shout unto the Lord. It looks like it's not going to happen. But just like that. Just like that. When I call the, this God, called God of uh, suddenly, people don't know what I mean because he has, it has happened to me. Suddenly. Suddenly. He will just do it because he's working it out already. Is working it out already. Is a wonderful God. Is a glorious God, and we have seen His hand work in so many ways. In so many ways. So why do you want to give up? The Lord has asked me to encourage you tonight, not to give up. Giving up does not give you anything than disaster. But if you trust the one that has created you if you believe in the one that has created you you will not give up because the Lord has a good plan for you he has a wonderful wonderful plan for you and those plans will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus hallelujah let's look at the book of Romans before um, we close the book of Romans chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 verse 10 Romans chapter 8 verse 10 No, let's take it from the uh, from verse 9 so that I will be able to you understand where I'm coming from but ye are not in flesh, but in spirit. For so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if a man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Now, why I brought up this... Um, this verse is that I want to I want to let you know that Christ is the answer to all your reproach. Christ is the answer to all your reproach. If you read the book the, 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 the book of uh, Romans ten, verse ten, 
exactly verse 10. And possibly, if you have the time, Colossians 1, verse 77, verse 27. You will understand that without Christ in your life, you, you, you will stop, you will keep giving up. You will, you will keep doubting what is going to, is this going to happen? But if you have Christ in you, you understand that the Spirit of God in you will do, make you do great exploit. You will understand that the Christ is the answer to your problem. Is the problem answer to your reproach? He will take you to the expected end. As he has uh, told us in the book of Jeremiah. Because the Lord has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. So don't give up. If you are listening to me tonight and you have not given your life to Christ, I want you to bow down your head and begin to confess Jesus in your life. That Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I accept you in my life as my Lord and Savior. Give your confession and begin to speak to him to take over to take over your life that you surrender tonight that you surrender your life tonight that you surrender your life tonight to Jesus you that you surrender you give up everything to him and he will perfect it you will you you will surrender everything to him. all your worries all your anxiety all all the things that you think oh can cost you a, 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 a sad mind that that's making you worry that when will he gonna do that makes you want to commit suicide commit it unto him and he will meet you at the point of your need and as you do so tonight the lord will touch you the lord will rebrand you the lord will establish you the lord will, will bring you to an expected end he has a plan for you that as you do so tonight just begin to confess him and say god i, I accept you as my lord and savior and as you do so, you, by the grace of God, you will, be, you will be a new creature in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord will shine upon you tonight, from tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Abba Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We magnify you. We glorify you for that word that has come first. Don't give up. We want to thank you, Lord, because you have given us the mantle to propagate your word, to encourage, to 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 to, to tell what the, what the, to tell your word to the whole world. Abba Father, we thank you. We give you glory, Father Lord. That word that has come for tonight, we pray, O oh Lord, that as many that are listening to that word. Those, that word will do great and mighty things in their life in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, they will not just be a hearer of the word, they will also be the doer in the name of Jesus. The only, your Holy Spirit will descend upon them and they will begin to do great and mighty things as they hear your word tonight in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for myself that, I, that, has, that you have used tonight. I pray that on the last day I will not be found wanted in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, I commit everything I lay my hands on into your care. Father Lord, you will strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Uh, your divine wisdom, your divine vision will, will manifest, you will continue to manifest in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, we thank you. Be thou exalted. We thank you Lord and as many that have uh, you have ordained to be a partaker tonight. Abba Father, you will touch them. You will touch their family. You will be with them. You will touch everything concerning them. Father Lord, and they will see your hand in their lives and there shall be testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, we thank the name of the Lord for this um, opportunity. Because God is still doing something. God is still doing something in our midst. Um, we, uh, we, gonna, um, uh, we, we have every reason, every reason to thank the Lord for what he has done. 
there was a um, there was a minister. I'm going to share this testimony. There was a ministration that came forth um, some months back, and um, there is a brother. There is a brother in uh, Nigeria. He was opportuned to listen to a recorded tape from one of the men of God on this platform. And um, this brother gave a testimony while I was in uh, Africa. He gave the testimony that why that word that came forth changed his life. That word that came forth changed his life. It was a prayer session that day and the man of God was also uh, ministering on this platform. And he said that word changed his life. And he explained to me how it happened. And I said, please, brother, put this in a written form and send it to me. And I'm expecting as soon as I get that testimony, I'll be able to share. So just to, just to encourage us that the Lord Almighty is using this platform to bless people. He's using this platform to touch people. He's using this platform to change lives around. And we are grateful to God. We want to thank the Lord. It doesn't matter what your situation is. It doesn't matter if uh, your, your life is worse. It doesn't matter if God sees you and God knows you. God he wants to be your friend. He wants, he wants to change your life around. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are. Because his hands are so open to receive you. His hands are so open to receive you. So if as many that uh, uh, still have more testimony out there, please don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to uh, contact us and uh, we will share those testimony and um, to lift others up. The reason why we, share those, why we should share those testimony is to also encourage others. Because as we listen to this program, everybody with different needs. And as you hear those words, they, uh, if they meet your needs, just begin to bless the Lord. Begin to bless the Lord and say, Daddy, thank you. Like this brother has just done. I mean, he said, he's not saying it because I am here, but he wants to share it. He wants to share it because since that time, he will kept saying since that time, the Lord has been good to him. The Lord has been good to him. And we just thank the name of the Lord for that testimony. He was, I was really touched and I, I, I believe that God Almighty that has started something new in the life of that brother will perfect it in the name of Jesus. And the Lord we will, we will have every reason to glorify his name. Abba Father, I will thank you for this opportunity. So every Wednesday, we meet on this platform. We meet on this platform from 7 to 8. And um, uh, for those in Africa, 8 to 9. 7 to 8 for Europe, 8 to 9 in Africa. And if you are United States of America, it's from 2 to 3. 2 to 3. So take note of that time. Please be a partaker. Be a partaker. Be a partaker. Be a partaker. And I mean, we are not asking you for money. We are not asking you for anything. Just join this platform and um, uh, the Lord will bless you as you do so. The Lord will bless you as you do so. Um, one of the announcements I'm, I also want to make: um, uh, one of our uh, one of our churches will be doing the anniversary on uh, in on the fifth of December. When the flyer is out, we're going to present it on this. So, if you want to join them on, if you want to join us on uh, Facebook, or you want to join us on the on live at the venue, we're going to cascade it next week, Wednesday. And uh, if, the, if the Lord also uh, taught you to be a partaker in that blessings, uh, please do. Because this is the work of God. The Lord is building his church, he's moving his church forward. And as you do so, please, uh, the Lord will bless you. And uh, at this point in time, uh, we'll ask uh, one of our men of God to pray for us. And we we'll close for tonight. Uh, let me see. Pastor Edwin is online. Okay, Pastor Vincent is online. Um, Pastor, please can you pray for us to end the program? Daddy, you are muted, so we can't hear you, sir.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We can hear you now, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless God for this evening. And we can see our father from Waterford there in the Republic of Ireland. Greetings, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. More anointing. Uh, we are evangelists. We are really blessed tonight not to give up because we have a God that always shows up and delivers. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know that uh, Pastor Edwin is saying the prayer tonight. I just want to appreciate your ministration and to say I've been blessed that um, it's only the dead that gives up. Well, as long as we are alive, then we have our hope, our hope secured in the Lord. So more anointing evangelists, more grace to you. Thank you Over to you, sir. Pastor, God bless you, sir. I will read the book of Matthew 26. I'm really, really blessed with this message tonight. I will read the scripture from Matthew 26, verse 39, and Matthew 26, verse 42. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Matthew 26, verse 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if this cup, listen to this very carefully, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Hmm. That is loaded, I believe. Don't give up. Don't give up. I have two, three things to quickly share, and we pray a prayer of money cannot buy. That will be eternal prayer. How many of you have watched boxing, taekwondo, battle fights, and you will see somebody that look as if he was an underdog. And suddenly, the referee will say, touch me with your boat about two, three, ten times. And they'll do that. And that person come to defeat the person that knocked him down. Right. How many of you watch movie? In our parlance, we say, actor, no, they die. Mm -hmm. You are an actor. And if Jesus, that is all we are talking about, that our daddy has used as don't give up, did not give up. In a Bible reading like this, when we're doing our okay, they will say, who said this in Kwakopome book? To who? On what occasion? At the cross, when Jesus was finally going, he said, Baba, please help me. Jesus said it to Heavenly Father, God Almighty. Please let this pain is too much. Let it go. But daddy said, no, you have suffered more than enough. Brothers and sisters, we have suffered too much. Persecution cannot swallow us. And Jesus came finally to say, and I will let go. Now look at the glory that came to be of Jesus today. Now I stand upon the word of the scripture tonight. I join my faith with the host. I join my faith with our father in the Lord. I join my faith with every generous of God in spirit and truth. And I say, no matter what we have done, we have passed through. Because Jesus never gave up at the end of the day, he drank it all. He said, the light thy will that will be done and is done in our destiny now. I see the glory like that of Jesus coming back again because Jesus was never buried and his coffin, his body never stood there. The body came back again. God 
anything, anyhow, any registration, any way, any means that we have been down. We come again like Jesus Christ because his word says in John 14, 12, he said, greater words than this we will do, even as your son has decreed and declared to us, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, the fourth man appeared for them. God, please appear for our destiny that not only us will enjoy this glory after we did not give up, but the glory shine to generations to come. And in the midst of this, Lord, nothing will hold us back. Not even plague, not even pandemic, not even COVID, not even various data, nothing will hold us back. Father, grant us that grace, that strength to hold to the end in the name of Jesus. And as all of us has gathered to do this, none of us will be a castaway. And I heard, as our daddy has said, the evangelist, we put to you, oh God, that program coming up in December 5. Five represent grace in the end of the year. The 12 bastard to release that every month, oh God, will be a testimony. Yeah. Father, do divine miracle testifying to your glory yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for this grace. Yeah. Thank you for this, your love. Thank you for this call. Yeah. Thank you for the joy of celebration. Thank you for the word of the Lord in the scripture that says, when the captivity of Zion were taken back and away, we were rejoicing. Even the Gentiles said to us, God has done it for every one of our family and the member for Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach with it, and the ministry that has been touched and have been propagated and everyone that has ministered and had. So shall it be. Glory or not be to you in Jesus' precious and glorious name. Amen. We have decreed. Amen. 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 May the grace of Amen. Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, the fellowship, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, us now and, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely goodness and mercy all the days, all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Amen. We hear your testimony, Jesus.